Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television and I'm here with Sarah Beth Wells. Hi. And we are going to be talking about foster care. You're with the National Youth Advocacy Advocate Program. You've got right? it. It's NIAP for short. Okay. And tell us, uh, you're here to tell us that we need some foster care parents in Central Kentucky, primarily Marion, Washington, Nelson County. So you're actually from Washington County, right? Yes, sir. I am proud to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell us about foster care. What for people who would be interested, what does that entail and what do foster parents do? Sure, first I want to say that this area, I want to big, give a big kudos to this area because actually NIAP is new to Kentucky. We're the A state here, so yay for us. But when it came in, we started in Fayette County and I, there's 48 other foster care agencies in Fayette County. And I was like, you know, we, I was there maybe a month and marketing a little bit. And on Facebook, some of my friends started to approach me and say, what does it take to be foster care here in this area? And then all of a sudden it just started growing word of mouth. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love my hometown in this area. And I started already getting foster parents here. So I was like, let's move this down here and help our kids here. And so that's what I've kind of been doing. And um, to be a foster parent, it's, it, it's a struggle, but we need them. Actually, we have 3,000 kids right now without homes in the state of it's Kentucky. And so, you know, we just, the training process typically takes about three months with me um, and I'm flexible. I can do weekends, I can train weekdays, whatever your schedule is. Um, but to be a foster parent, all you really have to do is go through training. You have to be willing to accept the unknown because kids come to us and we don't always know what's happened to them. We don't always know what they've gone through. And so it's just, it's being that loving parent of an unknown child, but a child that's deserving of a home, deserving of um, things that you know you and I take for granted that they that they would love to have, and so it's just that kind of stuff. So, for the to be a foster parent, mm -hmm. uh, are there certain age levels of child, or how's any child could potentially be a foster child? Yes, um, we we service zero to eighteen, but they can be in foster care until they're twenty one. Okay. Yeah, and um, and if you decide to become a foster parent, mm -hmm. do you have a way of working with you or whomever to kind of find a good fit for a foster child? Absolutely. Um, if you call me or call my agency and say, "Hey, we, we're interested," um, I'll I'll only place a kid with you that you really want. You'll tell me the age group or what you're looking for. And when I see that referral, I'll just call you and say, hey, this is what we've got. Would you be interested? And you ultimately, as the foster parent, have the say. Rather, yes, I would like to accept the child. No, I wouldn't. Um, that type of thing. And how long does it a foster child traditionally stay with a household? That's a good question. Typically, a year. But um, we've seen so many foster kids that it turns over into adoptions. The parents have 18 months typically to work their case plan. A lot of it depends on the judge, the Commonwealth, different things like that, um, the cabinet of course, but typically it's 18 months. Um, I've seen a lot of adoption lately, so it can turn into adoption. So traditionally a foster child will be a child who their parents may have some other issues that they had to get out of that household and they could potentially go back to that household or to a family member, but they need a place to stay for a period of time. Absolutely. Typically the goal is reunifi reunification with the bio family. Um, that's usually what the goals start out, but sometimes if it's, um, you know, the kids are removed for drug addiction, it sadly doesn't always turn out that way. Sometimes parents do get help and that's wonderful and that's what we want, but lots of times they don't. Um, it could be simple removing from neglect of not getting the you know the nutrition they need or the school they need the health needs and it just may be helping that parent get established again um, but like I said with Kentucky being high in drug use right now it seems like we are seeing a lot of kids in care okay that transition to adoption, adoption or longer absolutely care with them is there a certain level so if the child it doesn't lead to adoption is there a certain limit, like are they only allowed to stay with a particular family for a year or 18 months or two years or whatever long in that foster program? Sure, no, absolutely not. Um, it'll all depend on how the parents are working their caseload. Um, but no, usually, typically, there's no kids can be in there for a couple months up to years. Okay. And you're having an open house as well for people if they are interested in some more information, correct? Absolutely. I will be hosting an open house at Springfield um, Public Library in Washington County 
on October 30th from 5 to 8, and I will have food. Um, but I would love to see all your faces. Just ask me questions, mm -hmm. information, anything like that. I am here to answer it. And we also have a Facebook page that I just started. It's um, slash nyap.org. Okay. Facebook.com slash? Mm -hmm. Yes. N okay. And is there a financial compensation for the individuals who become foster parents as well, or is that Absolutely that? there is, and our rates are competitive. Um, but what it basically is, is each child is leveled when they enter care, and the level is based on the, ch the needs of the kid, and we're, we pay based on levels. So you get a daily rate, mm -hmm. and then the kid will get some kind of like clothing allowance and things like that, because we, we don't want these kids to be a burden. We just want them to be welcome into a home as, as part of your family. Right, because they're leaving a home that's having some issues, so they want to go to a home that's hopefully not having issues. Exactly. So that financial contribution uh, does also help to keep the child uh, yes. fed and taken care of while they're in foster care, correct? Absolutely. And they can be a part of your church organizations and school organizations and things like that as well. This is just like having one of your children in your homes. Um, I've, I've done foster care myself, and it, it's, it's very rewarding um, and challenging at the same time. Now you said there are about 3,000 uh, children from Kentucky. If somebody chooses to be a foster care parent, would it be a child from our vicinity or be somebody from the state of Kentucky or could it be potentially somebody from anywhere in the country? How's that work? Absolutely. It'll be um, somebody from Kentucky. They, it depends on the situation as to the safety of the child, if it's okay that they say in the vicinity. They like to keep them in their same school districts and things like that, if possible. But if there's um, an unsafe situation, then it could be somebody from Covington. It could be somebody from here. We, we never know. And do you allow families to have more than one foster in a household, or how's that work? Absolutely. Depending on how the home is set up, because um, um, same sex can share the same room, but opposite sex cannot. The child just needs a bed and a place to put their clothes, like a closet, dresser, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you can have bunk beds if needed, if you want a sieve group, or if you just want two girls, two boys. If you have two separate rooms, you can have you know opposite sex kids as well. That's not an issue, and, and it's just really how the foster parents want it. Okay, and as Sarah said, Sarah Bessett mentioned that there is a training program mm -hmm. that you can go through with her mm -hmm. to get set up for this. So we're hoping to find some foster care parents in our Central Kentucky area. And do you have a phone number that people can call? Yes, have... it is 859-455-6172, and you get to speak to me. That's great. And again, this is for foster care in Central Kentucky, and the open house is going to be at the Washington County Public Library right in downtown Springfield. It's going to be on October the 30th. You got it. From 5 until 7? 8. 5 till 8. 5, 5 until 8. 8. And you can come on out and find out more. This has been Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Thank Television. Thank you.